Hi, I'm Tom Durinick. Um I've worked on everything from X-Men to uh, Injustice and KFC. <laughs> and uh, we're on Splash Pages. Excelsior! Hey everybody, I'm here at Terrificon and I've got uh, Tom Durenick. Make sure you get the name right, everybody. Uh, so first thing, Tom, how, how, how are you doing? How's the con been so far? The con's been amazing. I've, it's probably up there into my top cons ever that I've ever done. So Mitch Halleck does do good work like that. So, so I have to ask, so your career, you kind of started in about, uh, like pretty early. I did like Malibu comics, right? Yeah. And then your first DC work was in 94. You did Star Trek 66, yes. right? So that is the beginnings. So like, you know, it's pretty early on. So you're doing that. Were you a Star Trek fan or did you have to kind of, do Star Trek research so you knew. I wasn't what you would call a Trekkie, but I was. I watched all of this, right. all of the stuff right. at the time. The right. movies. The, I went to the theater to see Star Trek: The Motion Picture right. and all of that stuff. Right. So yeah, fan, but not like hardcore fan. Right. And you did a bit of that. So what was that like working on, like kind of playing in the, in that world? And and coming from them, those are like the original series. Yeah. Right. So yeah, that was uh, Kirk, Spock, and McCoy. Right. That was, I've done a lot of licensed stuff or uh, things where I had to do likenesses. Uh, back in those days, they used to give the actors, uh, basically, they had to approve every single shot. Right. And that was tough, <laughs> especially when you're first, the first time you've ever done it for a comic book. Right. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I got through it, <laughs> you know. Okay. Um, it, it's funny to see uh, what actors do and don't like about their face because they'll have you change things that right. are like okay but that's what you look like right kind of thing so like maybe and maybe they think their nose is too big or right. like they're they're a little too chubby uh -huh. so that sort of thing okay so and then another thing is that later later time uh, time you also worked on the injustice you worked on injustice ground zero which is the perspective of the first game uh but it's from Harley Quinn's perspective. So what was it like kind of playing in that playground that you had Tom Taylor? I'm not sure it was all from Harley Quinn's perspective. Well, I think Ground Zero was. Oh, Ground Zero. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The rest yeah. of it was kind of from everybody. Yeah. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah it wasn't yeah. It wasn't all from Harley's but it, perspective. But Ground Zero, the final right story was done in her perspective okay. so it did it didn't have to be exactly like the game okay yeah but it was yeah. similar but but you played that playground that tom taylor brian bruchelato so you got tom who went on to basically do you know he's doing titans he's doing nightwing and then brian is doing he blew up yeah, yeah he did. and then brian is doing you know the justice league kong godzilla so you're like i, I knew them i worked yeah, with, yeah they're cool guys so yeah you know, like working in injustice oh it was a lot of fun I, I didn't know what to make of it when we were coming in because it was a digital comic. Right. And uh, and and a lot of times when you approach a digital comic, you don't uh, that not a digital comic, but like a, a video game comic or something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, I've noticed that sometimes the creators don't put their best effort forward, but everybody did with this. Okay. And it was like it was like oh my god, this is uh, like some really amazing stuff, and it was just fun to draw and like. And when it came out, it, I was so pleased that everybody reacted so strongly to it, you know, and, and it, it became kind of a, it was a hit. I mean, it was yeah. a massive hit. So it's been reprinted, I don't know how many times at this point. We've got omnibuses. Right. So, yeah, very pleasantly surprised by that. Um, I, I shouldn't have been. The story was great. When I was working on it, I'm reading it, and I'm like, I would read this book. Right. You know, so... So yeah, I shouldn't have been surprised, but I was a little surprised. Yeah. You never know. I mean, I mean, you worked on other things like Secret Six, yeah. you know, and but whatnot. But the one that I I have to ask you about, you you were asked, you were hand picked while you work on Secret Six to do the KFC, the Colonel of Two Worlds story, which I've read, yes. and I was like. Okay, I didn't know I needed this, but somehow yes. Uh -huh. But like, why? And yes, so you did. You did work on that, and I guess I'm talking to a co a co creator of the Anti Colonel, right? <laughs> yeah. Kinda. So what was that all that like? 
I created the visual look for him. They wanted him to look like the Colonel, but not. Right. So I, I did some weird things with his hair. Yeah. And, green, and made his glasses a little odder right. and, and dark suit. And then you get the anti-Colonel. Yeah. Yeah. But then on top of it, you, you, had, you had the Colonel kicking ass. He's not talking discounts yeah. for his chicken and biscuits. You, you're like... He's punching and fighting, and I was like, "Okay, that yeah, too." But it wasn't as as yeah. blatant. Like we we focused on on him interacting with right. like you know a villain and right. Yeah, it was fun. So, so if they and the craziest of options, if they had said, "Hey, we, we want you to get back," do you think you do something like I know Enter the Colonel verse? You know, <laughs> different variations. Like, what do you think? Well, yeah, they, they had me to all sorts of different variations in that second one, but like, uh, but yeah, it, it was, there was, it was a no brainer because right. the first one, uh, they released it on, co there were, it was limited, uh, there were limited physical copies of right. it, uh, maybe three to 5,000 copies and they gave them away at San Diego con, mm -hmm. uh, but they released it on comiXology and I think they told me that it had over a million downloads and I was like, a million downloads. So this is like the most read thing I've ever worked. On. Right. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh wow, okay, yeah. And when they approached me with the second one, I'm like, yeah, I'm in. I'm in. So yeah. And then the third one, and uh, they almost did a fourth one, but kind of, yeah. kind of decided last minute not to. So yeah, they kind of petered out. Yeah. Well, but there, it wasn't from lack of interest. Oh no. Because no. people were still interested at the time. I think, I want to say. It's possible that that uh, KFC advertising just was like, maybe they had spent put too much into right. something somewhere else and just decided Wait, no. to back off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, have have you seen any kernels at a con? Like, would that kind of make your your weekend or day if they're like, oh yeah, can you can you know, t Tom, one come? Of, one of the heads of DC, uh, one of the DC executives. I saw the the Halloween photos from their Halloween party, mm -hmm. dressed as the anti colonel. And it was like, it was, I was like, oh my God, somebody's wearing something I designed. And it, it was perfect. He looked just like him. He even did the swoop hair. So, <laughs> That's awesome. so yeah. Okay. Well, everybody, uh, Tom Narenik, like check out all of his work we talked about. There's even things I couldn't have the time to talk about. Check it out. Wikipedia. Google it. Long career. Long career. So, so we're at Syria Terrificon. There's a lot of great content. So. Stay tuned, everybody. It's going to a party. It's going to be totally great. Just, you know, summer blowout, 500 friends. It should be pretty cool. No, I only saw the trailer, but it's on my list. Yeah. All right. So serious. Yeah. I, I, you know what sold me? It was Ryan Gosling's Ken sold me. Oh. I was like, this is honestly very dumb, but there's something that I'm like accurate about this. I'm like, why? The little dark bullets. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I was like, okay. Like. I'm like, oh, this isn't just a kid's movie. No, this, there's some adult. I'm like, yeah. okay, this could be great. This could be horrible. So let's see. Yeah.